Well, as it was last time, we have a participant in the bathroom. <laughs> Welcome to the Doki Doki stream. Doki Doki. What hey. is up, Arcana? And before we start, Arcana, next month we're doing this for Extra Life, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have the files kind of in the background. So. I know you just want me to The files are up, they're just not quite on the screen, so. I mean, I tried to fit it in there, but it just took up too much space on the screen, so I was like, screw it. But, pretty much when I close out the game or anything, the mess with the files, the files will be on stream, so that's pretty much what I wanted. And once we're done with Doki Doki, we'll start on Higurashi, but that probably won't start until like another couple of weeks. We're still waiting on someone in the bathroom, so just going through some stuff. Yes, Persona 4. And how we're doing the Persona 4 thing? Definitely. Right. That is how our second child came to be. <laughs> but um but yeah, we're doing it I like played Chie. <laughs> But we're doing it like the month and the game will match the month in real life, so we're we're just going to like take the whole year to um stream the game. So, and that'll be for extra life. And the link to the charity will be in the in the description. So nice. Rose, welcome. Oh, we already have so many people already. Yes, we do. That's awesome. Did you empty your bladder well? Way to put that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> We have to be clinical about this shit. Don't right. be embarrassed. We are about to start now. We have all the participants. Hello, I've, Rose. I've had two kids. I've got saggy boobs. I put that on the screen. You don't have saggy boobs. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Picking Yuri again. Adult noises. Sure. <laughs> Get ready, sir. <laughs> Everybody's like, me, me, me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, no, I'm supposed to be making it because it's my character. Uh, <laughs> Amber. Oh, you're going to voice your right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you voicing your right now? No, you can go ahead. <laughs> Amber, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can really feel the emotions. Dim moans. <laughs> Did you say that one? <laughs> I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've on but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're always like right on the thing to correct me. Sorry, I'll shut up, I promise. <laughs> uh, I'm a sex robot. Beep boop. <laughs> 
You're really the example I was chasing after. Oh. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. How do you gently smile? I guess the way it looks on screen. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just like a gentle smile, like, you know. Come on, do it for us, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> this feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I've never thought it would feel like this. Dim boobs, though. I remember you mentioned that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something that you've never even shared with anyone. It's it's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Yuri smiles sadly. Amber, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say, I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. I wonder if that's how the sex would be. <laughs> Literally. You wanna read a book? Like the beginning of <laughs> And she she gently smiles. She <laughs> how do you smile sadly? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I tried the attempt. I, I guess it's like you're putting a smile on your face, but you're really Broken on the inside. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dead. <laughs> Dying. Hi, Hi, Sayori. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Oh, Sayori is a man. Ooh. All people you want to fall in love with. That's what she said. Yes. Or she people, wants the D. <laughs> or people you just know would make a really good friend. <clears throat> Cheerful people will always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. Where's Quinn at? I don't know. What you call him? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Quinn! <laughs> Sayori is special. She is. Sayori is special. <laughs> Forever and always. She's my lady. I just said that. Okay. <laughs> so when you look at it that way, I'm the queen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? Surrounded by these nuts. <laughs> and those friends don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know the way? <laughs> Sayori, do you know the way? <laughs> do you know the way, Sayori? They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Amber. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. 82 soup! I 
I don't even know how to make myself happy. It's so sad. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now. <laughs> that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. And there's her know-it-all. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just being patient and respectful. Hi, Hilla, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What that's the fuck, Hilla? That's the best name. What the ever. fuck, Hilla? That is the best name. What the fuck, Hilla? That'd be a new, like, sitcom where, like, Hilla's, like, always doing something fucked up and then <laughs> someone turns to, turns to him. Hilla, what, what the, the fuck? <laughs> and then the, then the, yeah. the canned laughter comes on. <laughs> yeah! Did you read that? Yes. That's really, really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Amber. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, You've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined the club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I have had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um... If you put it that way... Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to, do you want to show me your poem? Is that yeah. a metaphor for something? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you my poem and show you yours. I see you have a poem. I'll I show you my poem and you show me yours. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. I see you have a poem. I have a poem too. I do. Let me get it for you. Ghost under the light, part two. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, oh. bathing in the distance. A blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grow glows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and I drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to his forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warm before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
What? I said I should have named the main character Kruma, some young guy. I'm just saying. I'm just well, let her finish. I, I finished. Are oh, you finished? Yes. That's Sweet. what she said. <laughs> Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. Yeah, that's a good idea. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Uh, <laughs> no, don't you mean? <laughs> These nuts? Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course <laughs> not. I just don't know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poem usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out that this one was about. I I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. <laughs> Dead moans though. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> These nuts. That's fine. I understand this one. <laughs> Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Yes, because she's org she's orgasming instead. <clears throat> she's like, where's your heart? <laughs> Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's like me! <laughs> oh my I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge from Onyuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. I can just see Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> but instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. Ooh. You can touch um, my boobs if you want. Oh, of course. The poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to complete a sentence. You mean that I can keep it? Yuri nods. I love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think, I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. What should we do now? Oh, I guess I already. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Remember, you're doing your sleeping. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I'm supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it. Oh man. What? I hit you hard. <laughs> Shit. What? What's up, Esma? 819. Hmm. What's up? What's up? Is it like 1997 again? <laughs> yeah. like, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you 
Siri thinks she's so special with those fake boobs, angry face. <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Come on, I already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Um, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really, really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Amber. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow! A little out of key, maybe. Before I can say anything else, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, you didn't even... <laughs> Next! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Bitchy. Natsuki. <laughs> More like Natsuki. I don't know. Nat <laughs> I got Nat nothing. Natsuki kicked my ass out of the room. <laughs> or something. Hi, Amber. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? <laughs> That's sucky. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let not. I let Monica. 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 <laughs> really? Too much okay. persona for. Every day is great at you your genius. literature club. Oh. Well, in the eyes, still want to sing the your genius. <laughs> Every day is great at literature club. <laughs> <laughs> I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Uh. And so refined, Amber. <laughs> Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Every day's great when the chat went down in the trash bin. <laughs> trash bin? <laughs> the 
Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. <laughs> Uh, that's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well... I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? Ooh. You should definitely be saving for your mouth. Let me read it first. Oh, I'll save. I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her Burks. <laughs> her Burks? <laughs> her what? <laughs> oh my god, Burks! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a Burks. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> if I can say it correctly, because Burke seems to be what's wanting to pop out of my mouth. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Ooh, anyway, <laughs> I'll share my poem with you now, all right? And one of my three works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can read Burks. Oh my god, it's our kerner. <laughs> <laughs> well, come back, a kerner. All right. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells <coughs> of a lady who wanders. First, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather <clears throat> lost adrift the sky victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. The twilight is what it looks like. Sky. I think she misspelled it. <laughs> Until one day, the mind ceases to blow. Mine. The wind. Wind, sorry. No, it's fine. Just turned that W upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. Gentle. 
please. <clears throat> Excuse me. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Save? Yeah. <laughs> negative five out of ten. We should do it like Adam Sessler. It's a negative five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> that pause. <laughs> Ball select summary. Boom. Yeah. You know, I feel like learning. <coughs> looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too ph philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind and that's <coughs> what I wrote about. I see. I never really put too much thought into it. In a way, it's almost Paradoxical, is that right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Paradoxical. 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 <laughs> it's almost like a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Lion. <laughs> like a bird, but it's a dinosaur. Are you sure it's not a plane? No, it's a dinosaur. It's a bird. It's a plane. I'm a bird. Don't care. I'm a bird. Look at me, motherfucker, I'm a bird! <laughs> <laughs> because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> People want the moans, man. They want the moans. They want the moans. Mm -hmm. They want the moans. Oh. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Chase. It seems... I read that part. Oh. <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. <laughs> I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. Nani. <laughs> you just bent down and said nanny? <laughs> yes. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Eh, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you there. Or you three. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're there. You're there. You're there. You three there. You're over there. Over there. You there. Come over here.
<laughs> We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Gee. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnant air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to quietly belch. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, she actually wasn't feeling well today, so she went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop missing, misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Did you say? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Time. Yeah. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Uh, <laughs> Yuri, you can. Uh, um... Uh, guys! Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Oh. Uh, now, Natsuki's pouting too. 
Jeez, even I can tell now. <laughs> I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Arcana's back from the dead. Family friendly channel. <laughs> Family friendly channel? Ah! That may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> She's got the most determined look on her face. I love atmosphere. Atmosphere! <laughs> like, like Napoleon Dynamite, like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Atmosphere. Yuri's expression subtly changes as if she stares at her as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Amber. Oh! The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Your hand. You can always help me out as well. That is my line, Chase. Oh. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh. That's. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. They're saying that you say Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Amber may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Amber to. What are you saying? I will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Amber to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. 
Amber, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh... Save before. Before you choose. Yeah, save before you choose. In fact, you can, all, you can even save on a different slot so you can see how it would go if you were to do all different endings. Well, let's just... I just want to play through, like, okay. not like... Okay. I mean, if we did another playthrough, we could do all the messing around and stuff. Okay. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case... Hi! I asked you next core 999 family. <laughs> Everyone looks straight at me. Of course I'm going with... Yeah. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Everyone's like, no! Why would you? Natsuki. I can already tell that you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Amber. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Uh... Everyone can tell. People can Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. You broke. <laughs> wow, you broke Sayori's heart. Are you happy now? <laughs> Sorry, Sayori. You have your playthrough. <laughs> so is. That everything we needed to get go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Amber? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Yes, I, I see. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Yeah. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki! <laughs> Why are you making orgasm noises in the classroom? Because <laughs> I feel like it. But why? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> why is everyone yelling at me? Because you're making orgasm I didn't even noises. do anything. Yes, you are. N no, no. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> um. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Amber picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. 
They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... Yes, yesterday's string was on Sayuri's birthday. Aww! Oh, happy late birthday, Sayuri! I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. What was that? Friendly the cat. When she has no. trouble with her it words. Was not the cat. Cat's right here. And I heard something in that area. Something might have fallen in the closet. Okay. When she already has trouble with her words trying to cheer someone up. <laughs> now you got me all. Okay, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly. I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helped everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. What'd you do? So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the doors as they chat between each other. Um. Uh. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I was going to be the one going to your house since I'm helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind... I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I can massage... Massage. <laughs> well, massage what exactly? Babe? Oh I God! Let's 
chat know oh god. what you would massage? Oh god. Her shoulders, because she's tense from reading all Are time. you sure it's not and the, the chest know, holes? In the slumping of the reading? What do you think he would massage, chat room? Everybody in here. What would he massage? Aw, oh, good night, James. Night. The, the potatoes need spudding. Um, I may, I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Amber. I think that will make a very productive team. <laughs> Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with, a, with an extremely intense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. <laughs> you wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? Uh, I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. <laughs> Isma. Bye, Isma. Me. <laughs> Little dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that that and, rela and relaxes her expression. Mm. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. Can I see? You can't. Oh, yeah, you can. It was just blocked out for some reason. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof, even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is that a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Same. 
Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll come up with a little bit when she's when it's just the two of us. Yeah, I got <laughs> Did I say it wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've no. been texting occasionally. Hmm. Really? Okay. <laughs> like I said, I've got nothing. <laughs> Neither do I. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I already was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, <laughs> I, have <power. laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the cl club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling as feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. And again, we used to play so often that We've made a habit of sim simply entering each other's house like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up into her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Amber. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to, to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. The music. Didn't they say um, when the piano plays, Monica's watching? That's what someone said. There's a minute of silence between us. Should I say it? Yeah. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Oh, no. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Hello! I swallow comb. <laughs> comb. Come. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Sayori's room is as messy as it always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decoration that she's had for years now. I get what his name means now. Yeah. Do you get an Amber? No. Oh yes, now I get it. <laughs> yes, it, it took a while. Should I sure. should I say it out loud to get other people to to notice it really, well, or should they'll, I just leave they, it? They'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because <laughs> I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait. How did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that in the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true.
But what about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Oh, of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yeah. There's more silence between us. Sayuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Amber. Um. Why can't it just be like it's always been? It's this is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like, it just wants to torture me. <laughs> oh my god. I just <laughs> wish you had. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until... Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh. <laughs> Sayuri gives an empty smile. Good night, Arcana. You really. Sorry, sorry. Oh! Right there. <laughs> you really put me in a trap, Amber. But. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Amber? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? So sad! Oh my god! <laughs> that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Hmm. No. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayuri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just not to think about her? 
Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've betrayed you as a close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. You don't understand at no. all, Amber. No. You don't understand at all, Amber. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Oh my god. It was, is, what is it, Sundar or Yandere? I don't know how, which one it is, but it's one of the two. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. We might just become a Spanish chat. <laughs> <laughs> because he came in, he speaks Spanish and Sayori does too. So. <laughs> But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Amber, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join Literature Club because I was selfish. Oh! Why did she say they hate me again? And I was punished by my heart, hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. Why do I get the really depressed scared girl? Oh my god! <laughs> because you looked at the cover and you were like, She's so cute! Oh, she, she is, is though! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just, there you go. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab, grab Sayori's Grind. shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Amber. Sayori. Amber. Sayori. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For real. <here. laughs> Okay, keep I'll going. I'll punish you, Sayori. Go Get on. on that oh bed. my god. <laughs> Come on, hit the button. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, don't mind the rednecks in the background. Then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Amber. Sayori isn't hugging me back. This might my arm trapped around her. Sayori's remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Amber. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have have to let me be selfish too. <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. Oh dear. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Gently, Sayuri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Amber. The only time I'm not feeling anything is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Oh. Sari lets me go. And as she does, I let go as well. The, the, fest oh, the festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it with you? Um. Ah. Uh, it's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At least, the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It will be fun. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good thing for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm using Sayuri voice. You're a, oh, that's... You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. No, that was you. I'm sorry, I wasn't home. Were, were you ra waiting for me the whole time? <sighs> it's 
sounded like you said raping. Were you raping me the whole time? Oh my I, god. I said waiting. <laughs> but I have to stand up different. this chair. It sounded different though. Ow! No! <laughs> it really hurts right now. <laughs> All right, let's clicky. Maybe we should save the rest for another day. You're hurting too much to see. No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. No, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous and nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. Congratulations for having an appointment with Amber. I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> if if I had known, I would have reassured you, and her and hurried more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. <laughs> Mine was too. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I've decided to, do, to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought lots of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. What? <laughs> cough. Fake boobs. Cough. <laughs> it's so clean. <laughs> huh? I cleaned it before you came, mother. Came mother. <laughs> I think I cleaned it before you came over, so came mother. Came mother. Came mother or came. <laughs> That's very considerate of you to do. Uh no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you're here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. With a bunch of porn magazines. Uh, Play nice, girls. <laughs> Aww. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if she's making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Should we get started? Uh... Yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. <laughs> That's a great way to name it. Amber. Atmospheric enhancements. We, we could go put some atmosphere enhancements up around your house. You want to help me put some atmosphere enha enhancements around mine? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know that you planned on taking it this far. 
Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's, it's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. She relieved. <laughs> and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. Oh god. Oh dear. I was going to use them during the poetry event. <laughs> Oh yeah? Like what? <laughs> For your eyes. <laughs> what is your mind on to, Amber? <laughs> yeah, that hurts my butt. <laughs> it puts more pressure on my butt. Really? So you're saying I have heavy legs right now? Well, when I'm tired. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. You eat rubbish just through her, her bag. Everybody's getting tired now. Yay. He's all in here. It looks like it's just Sayuri and Yuri now that's here. <laughs> she pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contribu contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout Natsuki. through a small hole on the top. Hi, Natsuki! Natsuki! <laughs> Thanks! Wow, that smells wonderful! What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer. And your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. 
but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clear, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out se several spools of thin ribbon. How long do you think this one has left? Because we've only got like 30 minutes left. Um, I don't know. Well... I'm not scary. Well... Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang them from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I would also like to catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? <coughs> well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Amber. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, Alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my, ban my <laughs> bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Huh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Space station. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fancy. Uh, um. Well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to. You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Oh, what am I saying? <clears throat> Please don't think I'm weird for this. <coughs> <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it suits you. Suits me? 
Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relax relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Amber! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be so sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Um. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Oh, it's you. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. <laughs> Without warning, oh. Yuri puts my finger into her mouth and licks the wound. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. God This damn. is getting sexy here. Yeah, ain't nothing but sucking up blood sexy. I feel her Ooh. tongue curl around my finger. Oh my gosh. Startled, I in instinctively pull pull my hand back. Uh oh. But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most... That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rose is back. Rose Hi. is back. Guess who's back. Rose is back. Rose is back. Hello, Rose. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh. She doesn't lift her head. <laughs> what if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her oh. finger in return. <laughs> oh my gosh! Amber! Did, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Uh. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. Quinn! Quinn is back! Sup, son? If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Amber. Oh, yes, you are. Yuri giggles shyly. <laughs> she giggles shyly. <laughs> uh, Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Yes, there is a lot of suck in this video. Oh, <laughs> yes. Right now, we... Sucking on my fingers like you wanted me. On me all the time. <laughs> 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 and you say, I have no response to that. I already said that. 
Where do you... Where do you keep your bandages? Um... I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we laid them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Later, Natsuki. Good, good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> that's why we stream after dark. Yes. <laughs> we did it at 12. It would be the well, I midnight guess, channel. Well, we're going to be having some midnight channel pretty soon. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. They say get ready to moan on the festival. One... <laughs> <laughs> One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. <clears throat> Let's keep a moon counter. Oh god. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, that was Yuri. Should we actually make a moan counter? That's okay. <laughs> That's too much work, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips. Then I bring it back into the room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium, at the front of the classroom. Oh, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it would be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. 
After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite side so we don't get in each, get in each other's way. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few. <laughs> oh yes, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were looking at? Yeah. <laughs> She's ashamed now, though. This kind of reminds me. Did I read all that? No, not this one. Th th this kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we did back then. It's relaxing. Um, sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me? I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. It's just like when I can spend time with another person. Even if it's something simple. Like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that I feel about I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time causes my my head to bump into hers. Yeah. Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. <laughs> Quinn, where's the moan? I don't know. Don't encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. There it is. Oh. Yay. Aww. <laughs> That's really nice. Aww. Uh. Your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my... Is there something on my face? Yeah, these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can help myself. <laughs> Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch us a small towel, then I dampen it with uh, hot water. <laughs> what? I return. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Ooh. Aww. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Uh. Oh dear. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Then I think 32. <laughs> All right. 32, or yeah, 36. <laughs> 32, 34, 36, somewhere around there. Oh. 
Oh, I love this towel. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to the next panel, please. <laughs> Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Uh huh? Just for a little longer. <laughs> doki doki. Pronoun. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it feels really nice. Uh huh. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense impression. Expression. It's an intense expression <laughs> that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. Porn up by anime, isn't that called? Anti. <laughs> she breathes gently, half through her slightly parted lips. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's keep going. Jesus is getting a little excited over here, y'all. I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> yes, what is happening? <laughs> yes, it is called hentai and it is art. <laughs> is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's Gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that has transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. Okay. That's true, but that will take a while. But won't that take a long while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? Is... That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was it wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see.
I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Uh... Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is, we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time, last time it can happen. When Shiri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I was glad to help. Just let me know if there's anything you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have much it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, we can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Amber. Yuri steps, takes a step closer to me, then briefly quick squeezes my hand. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? Save! By saving? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori? Huh? Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> Hi, Amber. S Sayori? It's a threesome. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Amber. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. So I brought a strap on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! So Yuri beams. E yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Woo! 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 Clearly 
embarrass Yuri hurries off. <laughs> Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori. Just Yes. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know. How much fun you were having with Yuri. <laughs> and how close you got to her. <laughs> it makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Amber? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh my god, she's so sad. It hurts so much. I can't do this. I can't, I can't act very emotional very easily. <laughs> or I will actually literally start crying. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Amber. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being so selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Oh no, she didn't. Oh no. Oh no, she didn't. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that biz not. I shouldn't. I should... Yeah, you... I just said that. Oh. Monica? Monica was right about what? <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would, wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes a lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't have to feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder and reassured her. I'm scared, Amber. What? I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Amber, I like you so much that I want to die. Oh my gosh. That's how I feel. Hand in hand. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hand down Sayori's arm and squeezed her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always wanted what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm giving and that's what I'm going to give you. Oh no! Fuck it, I would say I love you. Really? Yeah, why not? Wouldn't that make her hurt even more? Okay. So, will you guys... Yeah, chat decide.
speechless man. Do you <laughs> I love you. Eh. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Making new friends and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Aww. Then I know we'll both be happy. Amber. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Amber, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You never have to let go of me again. I love you, Amber. I want to be with you forever. Hmm. Me too. Yes, I do it. I want to be with you forever. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, that. <laughs> Pardon. Hug me okay. more. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I feel Sayori's like grief. Grief? <laughs> I feel Sayori's... <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is? We're at 60 moments out. You say that? Yes. Sayori. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? You're not going to go away at all, Amber. It's okay, Sayuri. It might take some time for things to get better, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayuri and I slowly release each other. Waffles on. Yeah, I was about to link him if he couldn't find it. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow? Our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? He wants you to open the game files. But uh, I, we haven't really uh, paid much attention to the files before, so we won't really know what's changed. Right. Things the same. Oh, guys, don't worry. He knows. He's not new. <laughs> oh. He's a special someone. <laughs> I wanted every. Oh, that's you. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. It says there is a picture. Oh. I guess we gotta find the picture. Well, I'll try. Well, let me save first. Yeah. Why don't we try to find it and then, like, put it on, I guess, for people to see on the stream? Yeah, it'll be good. All I have to do is go. Okay, cool. Alright. Are you being characters? It's just characters. Mm. Guys, where do we find the picture? It comes after you write the poem. 
I haven't read a poem yet. You haven't? Yeah. It's Images? I don't know. That's a file, though. I don't know, then. There's nothing new yet, someone says. Right. That's what I thought. Okay. And... Everything's back! Oh my god, it's magic! Happy to Alrighty. Let's go. Ten people! Woohoo! That's also a little... I don't know if I can handle like that. Okay. It's really good and new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go over whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Amber. Sayuri gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? You know that. Uh, you know what it has to. Bruh. I don't really understand what Sayuri means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel say sad, Sayuri? I. I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns. You told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know, what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayuri. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayuri's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. And at the day of the festival, it's been over two hours, actually. It's been two hours and 17 minutes. So, continue next week. We might have to go out of town next, well, still in town, but. I can sub for you. Yeah, so Catastrophe uh -huh. isn't going to be here next week, but we'll still do it. Just be me and, me and, um. Miss Penny Art Katie over here. Yeah. I'm here. But, <laughs> but yeah, next month we're doing an extra life event starting it for um Persona 4 Golden. And that'll continue through like 20, 2019. So just kinda doing it every month. Like as the months sixty eight. <laughs> as the months like coincide with the months in the game. So you know, it'll, it'll all be for extra life and all that. And once a month, we have a, you know, a video version of the podcast I'm on. And we're probably going to do Higurashi Quinn after we're done with Doki Doki. Quinn wants you to check the files now. Okay. We yeah. just did check the files. Again. The day of the festival. Check the files. Okay. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check the files. Even though I won't be actually... I won't be able to actually be in the stream. I've got a house sit for somebody, okay? But I can still sit and watch the stream and participate in the chat. What are we looking for exactly? Like I don't know. Guys, help us figure out what we're looking for. Happy thoughts. Right there. Yeah, just click anything. What? Oh, what? 
it's uh, probably meant to look like that. Okay, let's see here. Add image. Happy thoughts. Yeah. There you guys go. There's your picture you wanted. Bring up the chat. You can totally see what it looks like. Can you tell Amber? Yes, look even closer. Ah. All right. <laughs> That's my worry. Oh, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. I hate that I'm not going to be able to be here for the finale, you know. Well, it might not be the finale, so. And you'll be in the chat. You know, the chat. Okay, say bye to everybody. We. Yes, we can say goodbye to everybody. So. Goodbye. See you later, Sayori and Quinn and Waffle and Yuri and Rose Random. We are also going to be saying hi to Waffle in person. And, oh. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Well, so you're a ghost. What do you mean, ghost? The uh, the, the band. I don't know, but they. I mean, oh, some other people. I don't know, like Natsuki and stuff. Or, or did they leave? <sighs> he wants us to leave on sixty nine loans, so we can do all. We can do that uh, once. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. That's <enough. laughs> <laughs> this is so not child friendly. Aw, oh, we we'll miss you. <laughs> Hentai <laughs> Haven. Hentai Haven. I eventually want to stream Dandelion Wishes Brought to You. Cool. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's time for me to go get Whatever. naked now. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I do like stream, I 